Hey everyone, welcome back. Go ahead and take a second to pause this video and read through question number three and then meet me back here. Okay, jumping right in, part one says, as a result of improved technology, the efficiency of solar panels has changed over time. In 1992, a solar cell had a maximum efficiency of 15.9%. In 2017, a solar cell prototype capable of 44.5% efficiency was produced. Calculate the percent change in efficiency from the 1992 cell to the 2017 cell. Show your work. Okay, so clearly this is a percent change problem. I have included the formula down in the bottom right. That is available on my formula sheet on Patreon, just as a quick reminder. Okay, so going back to it, jumping right in. The new value is the 44.5%, and then the original value is the 15.9%, and then we're going to take that and divide it by the original value of 15.9%, and then we are going to multiply this by 100. Going ahead and plugging that in my calculator, I got 179.9%. Again, just zooming out, that would be the percent change in efficiency of the solar cells from 1992 to 2017. All right, moving on to part two. Now it says the average home in the U.S. uses 12,900 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. The local power company is raising the cost of purchasing electricity from 11 cents per kilowatt hour to 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Assuming a home uses the average kilowatt hours of electricity in one year, calculate the change in electricity cost for the for one year for the homeowner. Show your work. Okay, so we know that the average home uses 12,900 kilowatt hours, and then we know the price is increasing from 11 cents to 13 cents, which is net net just two, two cents, here we go, per kilowatt hour. So really this is all we have to do to set this problem up. Now we can go ahead and just cancel out kilowatt hours and then we can type this into our calculators and I got $258. And again, just zooming out, this is basically the change in electricity cost in one year for the homeowner. Okay, moving on. Part three says the roof of a typical house in the U.S. receives a total of four hours of sunlight per day that can be converted by solar panels into electricity. A house has 30 solar panels on its roof and each panel generates a maximum output of 300 watts. Calculate how many kilowatt hours can be produced by the system at maximum output in one calendar year. Show your work. Okay, so what do we know? What are our givens here? Well, we know that the house has 30 panels. So we've used this given. And now we know that the maximum output is the 300 watts per panel. So we know that for every one panel, the maximum output is 300 watts. And now we know that there are 1,000 watts. This is the trickiest part, I would say, of this. There are 1,000 watts in one kilowatt. So really, this is just knowing the definition of what kilo means, right? So that, as a prefix, is just 1,000. So now we are in, let's go ahead and cancel out our units so we can catch up here. So we've crossed out panels and watts. So now we're in kilowatts, which is exactly what we want, right? We want to know how many kilowatt hours can be produced. So we're close. Now we need to get the hours. So now we also know that there are four hours of sunlight per day. So we know four hours of sunlight per day. So now we're getting closer because now we're in kilowatt hours per day, but we need how many are in one calendar year. So we're almost done, but we're gonna do one more little bridge part here. And we're gonna do there are 365 days in one year. And then we're gonna go ahead and cancel out days. 
And now we are in kilowatt hours per year. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know kilowatt hours are just literally kilowatts times hours. So that's how I did that there. And that's how I knew to put both kilowatts and hours in the numerator. Okay, now plugging all of this into the calculator. So I'm doing 30 times 300 times four times 365 and then dividing by a thousand, I got 13,140 kilowatt hours per year. There we go. And then zooming out, that's how many kilowatt hours can be produced by the system at maximum output in one calendar year.